Yeah, good morning, everybody. It's a good uh, opportunity to come before the Lord and worship again. We are gathered already as a church, and this is the Lord's Portion Restorers Church. I want to welcome you this morning to this broadcast service. And I believe the Lord is going to bless all of us together today in Jesus' name. Amen. It is a day we have been waiting for. We've been trusting God, the day of worship again. Amen. Hallelujah. Can Amen. we just begin to bless the name of the Lord? Can we just begin it's to appreciate good, uh, God? Opportunity to come before the Lord and worship the game. We are gathered already as a church. And this is the Lord's portion restaurant's church. I want to welcome you this morning. We thank you. 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 We exalt you, Lord. We exalt you, Lord. We give you praise, Lord. We give you praise, Jehovah. We love you, Lord. Lord, we exalt you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. You are most worthy. 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 Let's bless the name of the Lord. Let's give him praise. Let's worship him. Let's join Lord, we bless you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, you are worthy, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. You are mighty, and you are holy. You are, you are lifted up above. You are mighty, Lord. You are mighty, and you are holy. You are holy, you are holy Lord. You are lifted up above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Shout, shout, hallelujah. Blessing you and I will praise the Lord. You and I will praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You and I. You and I. Oh, yes, you and I will praise the Lord. You and I will praise the Lord. You and I will praise the Lord. You and I. Together now, you and I will praise the Lord. Hallelujah! You and I will praise the Lord. You and I, 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 you and I will praise the Lord. Kosi babi re, kosi baba bi re, kuma solo nu bi re. Hallelujah! He go, kosi babi re. Kosi baba bi re, koma solo ru bi re. Igwe, eba mi kolo to bi, oba na oba to ga, eba mi kolo to bi, ogu ma oba to ga, eba mi kolo to bi, oba na oba to ga, eba mi kolo to bi, ogu ma oba to ga, koli mi gwe igwe, alenu ya igwe. Hallelujah, Igwe, oh Igwe, Igwe. Hallelujah, Igwe, Hallelujah, Igwe, Igwe. Glory, glory, Hallelujah. Glory, glory, praise the Lord, Hallelujah. Glory, glory, Hallelujah. Glory, glory, praise. Oh, oh glory. Glory, glory, hallelujah, 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 glory, glory, praise the Lord, oh, glory, hey, glory, 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 hallelujah, glory, 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 praise the Lord, immortal God, oh, invisible God. Immortal God, how great Thou art! Immortal God, invisible God, immortal God, how great Thou art! How great Thou art! Immortal God, how great Thou art! Invisible, Hallelujah! Immortal God, invisible God. Immortal God, how great Thou art! Jehovah is the Lord. Hallelujah. Jehovah is the Lord. From everlasting, from everlasting to everlasting, Jehovah is the Lord. Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah is the Lord. You remain the Lord. Everlasting, Jehovah is the Lord. Jehovah is the Lord. Jehovah is the Lord. From everlasting, from everlasting, to everlasting, Jehovah is the Lord. At the mention of your name, every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that you are Lord. You are Lord. We worship you. You are Lord of Lords. You are King. You are King. You are King. You are King of Kings. Oh, I don't mention of your name. Every day shall bow. Every new name. Every tongue come. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah! 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 H
Father, we thank you. We bless your name, Jesus. We worship you today. We are connected together again as a church. And we connected, Lord, to worship you and to hear from you. Thank you for all the areas of the service that were conducted, Lord, in our various homes. And we thank you for the privilege that we have had to connect together. Lord, we pray you will teach us again in your word Amen. as we share together from your word. Amen. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Today we are sharing together on the series we continue from where we stopped last week, the series Dominate. Dominate. And last week we looked at Zacchaeus, the short man, and we had looked at the platforms he had used in dominating others around him. I see you dominating in Jesus' name. Amen. Today we are considering the case of Joseph. Genesis chapter 39. Genesis chapter 39. We're reading from verse 19 to verse 23. Genesis chapter 39 from verse 19 to verse 23. I say it again, Genesis 39, verse 19 to verse 23. Joseph was furious and had Joseph arrested. Joseph's master, sorry, was furious and had Joseph arrested and put in, in the prison. Yeah. Where the king prisoners were kept and there he stayed. Verse 21, but the Lord was with Joseph and blessed him, so that the jailer was pleased with him. Verse 22, he put Joseph in charge of all the other prisoners and made him responsible for everything that was done in the prison. Mm. Verse 23, the jailer did not have to look after anything mm -hmm. for which... Joseph was responsible mm. because the Lord was with Joseph and made him succeed in everything that he did. Wow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Can you imagine? Joseph still dominated even in the prison. He still took charge in the prison. What his brothers wouldn't want that should happen, happened. He still took charge even from the prison. Now, we have a long way to go today. I want us to learn together. And um, I first want to take us through, there is a book I read, I'm reading presently. The book says, Walking with Giant, written by Elma Towns. And in that book, Elma Towns says, it says, One's greatest achievement in life is not measured by the greatness of the event. Rather, it is measured by how far you had climbed and what little support and resources you had to reach your achievement. Your achievement, your, your, the, the greatest achievement in life is not measured by the event, but measured by the, the, the little support or the little resources or the no resources that you had and you still got to your destination. <clears throat> now, looking at the life of Joseph, there were no spectacular support. There were no spectacular resources that Joseph had in reaching his achievement in life, in seeing his dreams come true no support there was there was no resources available for him to reach all of those great you know heights we now read about today and some people have gone to the extent they still name their children joseph if joseph never achieved anything nobody will be naming their children after him but despite all the things and he didn't have support. He didn't have that resources to get to his destination. So it is not the event of your achievement. 
it is it your achievement is measured like 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 uh emma town says the achievement is measured by the little resources you had the little support you had and you still got to your destination no so looking around joseph and his life he could have died with his dreams he could have died because the expected support system that everyone like you and i always expect support system joseph didn't have it right so he could have died with his dreams and visions but thank god for different platforms somebody say thank god for platforms thank god for platforms thank god for different platforms that god positioned for him even till he got to the prison Plus ones, platforms were still there. And so today we are considering, we are looking at the topic, dominate the prison platforms. Dominate the prison platforms. Now, let me first, you know, clarify something here. Joseph's prison or his prison experience cannot be limited and it's not limited to the wall to wall you know prison on the i mean definition of prison no 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 his prison experience was beyond the wall to wall you know typical prison experience his his prison experience was about five yeah you wonder i say five yeah five five prison experience and so to be in prison is to be confined right to be limited in your freedom. And so, Joseph had about five limitations. He had about five prison experiences. It was, it's, it's, his prison experiences was more than, you know, that, that uh, typical prison, okay, yeah, uh, curriculum prison, uh, this also so prison, uh, that's, no, no, no. His prison experiences were more than that. Now, I, I, I'll point to, I, I want to point our attention to five prisons. And some of us might find ourselves in such prisons because you will say, ah, I'm free. You are not, uh, you are not in that you know, typical prison, you know, in the typical prison. But you are, you, are, you are not actually free because you are in some sort of prisons. So I want to call your attention to five, the five prisons of Joseph. The five prisons of Joseph, and that's the first one I will mention is what I call flesh and blood prison. Flesh and blood prison. Genesis chapter 37, verse 4. Genesis chapter 37, verse 4. Flesh and blood prison. Are we there? Yes. All right. When his brothers saw his brothers saw that their father loved Joseph, their more father than loved Joseph loved more them. than he loved them. Yes. They hated their brothers wow. so much that they would not speak to him in mm. a friendly manner. His flesh and blood hated him passionately. That's a type of prison. In his heart, they had locked him. They had locked his destiny. Why? Because they saw that his father loved him more than he had loved them. And so, the hateful disposition of his flesh and blood made him to be confined in their hearts. The hatred they had towards him made all of them to confine him. They confined his name, they confined his, his destiny in their hearts. They sentenced him to death in their heart it was a prison it was a prison there are some people that should release you in their heart so that you can actually be free to 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 fulfill destiny you see so if you still have people that have confined you in their heart and they have sentenced you in their heart that may be hard for some people's dreams and so it was more than the four wall typical prison he, 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 he experienced flesh and blood prison. You may also have such people of your flesh and blood, flesh and blood lineage that have confined you and have already sentenced you to death. God shall deliver you from them in Jesus' name. Amen. Another type of prison 
I want to show you in Joseph's life, Genesis chapter 37, verse 21, verse 22, and verse 24. Genesis 37 is what I call dry well prison. Dry well prison. The Bible makes us to understand that his brothers, they, 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 they conspired together when they saw him and they put him in the prison, in the wilderness. They put him in a dry well. When you are in dry well, when you experience such, it is hard. When you are in the well, it is hard for helpers to see you. You will even make noise, they can't hear you. You will call for helpers, you will shout, pray, pray, pray for helpers, they cannot see you. Because you are in the dry well. Things will be dry for you. And so it was a type of confinement. It was a type of prison. Dry well prison. His brother sentenced him into this wilderness prison. This wilderness dry well. So that he can die with his dream. If you are there, you have been sentenced also in the dry well. I decree today, heaven will pick you up by mercy in Jesus' name. Amen. Some of us may be experiencing such imprisonment. Where things are very, very dry. Things are just dry that it seems you, 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 you have come to the end of road. I'm telling you today, you have not come to the end of road. Because Amen. a platform will show up in that prison in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, I have a good news for you. I have the good news for you. You will not die in that dry well. Amen. I say you are not dying in that dry well. Amen. Your dream will come to pass. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, a platform showed up. A platform showed up. Even in that dry well, there was a platform. Don't worry, we will get to the platforms very soon. We'll consider those platforms very soon. You know. But I'm showing you the prison, the different prisons. It was more than the, the prison, the typical prison we know. It was more than that that he experienced. The third type of prison he experienced is what I call sealed mouth prison. Sealed mouth prison. Even Joseph himself imprisoned himself. How do I know? In Genesis chapter 37, verse 28. Genesis 37, verse 28. What and, does the Bible say? And when some Midianite trader came by. When some Midianite traders came by. The brother pulled Joseph out of the well. All right, they now decided to pull him out of that prison well. And sold him for 20 pieces of silver. They gave him. To the Ishmael, Ishmaelites. They gave him up for sale to the Ishmaelites. Who came to Egypt. Hello. At 17 years, a 17 year old boy, sealed mouth prison. I thought that he would have experienced bruises, you know, in the in the in the well. And coming out of the well, and his brothers were selling him to traders. I expected that he should have shouted, he should have made noise. If if Joseph could have opened up his mouth. To tell about his dreams to his enemies. Oh, he now came in contact of helpers. He closed his mouth. He couldn't tell those traders that, ah, I am their brother. Close mouth destiny. Somebody said a closed mouth is closed destiny. Some of us, we have confined ourselves with sealed mouth. You have confined your destiny, your dreams, into a prison of sealed mouth. It's time to begin to talk. It's the time to begin to speak out. No, when this, when his brothers were handing him over with his bruises on his body, I expected that he would have even like told them, "Ah, I am their brother. Please help me. They want to kill me. Help me." He sealed his mouth. He didn't say anything. He imprisoned himself. Some of us have imprisoned ourselves. Ah, I don't want to talk. Oh, ah, I don't want people to know that I have this problem. You are imprisoning yourself. And it was this type of prison that, that Joseph, at 17 years, I have a daughter that is 17 years. I wouldn't help, expect her to have sealed mouth when it should, she should talk. You know, at 17 years, even a child, not, nowadays, even a child that is five years, we shout out and say, please help me, please help me. Or oh God, please help me. They, they, I'm, I'm their brother. Sealed mouth, the, the prison. Another prison that I, I, I want to point your attention to this morning is what I call ratio one over nine prison. 
ratio 1 over 9 prison. It's a type of prison that some of us have found ourselves. Ratio 1 over 9. You know, the Bible says, Genesis chapter 30, 35, verse 22, the Bible says Jacob had 12 sons. Right? Benjamin was the number 12 son. Joseph was the number 11. So it means 10 of his brothers were the ones that conspired. Right? Now, you will see the firstborn, Reuben. Reuben was the one that told the brothers and said, don't let's kill him. Genesis chapter 37, verse 13. Verse 13. You will see in verse, verse 21 and 29 also, you will see how Reuben exonerated himself. Say, said, don't let's kill him. So remaining nine. So remaining nine. That's why I call it one over nine prison. Ratio one over nine prison. In that, what do I mean by ratio one over nine? I want to call it minority prison. Prison of minority. Minority prison. He had one just one person on his side that said, please, don't let's kill him. And that was his elder brother. Don't let's kill him. Right? Don't let's kill him. So, the remaining nine of his brothers, they were ready that he should die. Right? And so, that was ratio one over nine. Some of us were in such minority prison. You know, on the field of politics, they say, they say uh, politics is a game of number. The majority wins. Listen to me. You may not be winning now because you have minority support. But there are platforms. If you look around, there are platforms. Yeah, that is a type of prison. And some people have, some people have, have limited themselves because of this type of ratio. Ah, I'm the only one. I'm the only one. I can't do it. I can't move. Ah, people are not supporting me. You don't need the majority to fulfill your destiny. Mm -hmm. You don't need anybody, everybody. I remember when the Lord told me to go start the Vision Lord's portion. I remember I was asking God, so where are the people? Because I was praying for three things. People, place, and provision. Where are the people? The Lord told me, move. If you move, I will, I will send the people to you. I didn't have the majority. I didn't have the, the voice of ah, applause that I needed. Right? So you don't need the majority to fulfill your dreams. And so it, it was a prison. He imprisoned, he, he got himself in that prison of ratio one over nine. Majority were against him. Never let ratio, in, ratio of, of, of minority imprison you. Don't allow it to limit you. Don't allow the fact that you are, you are on the minority. Don't allow it to limit your destiny. Don't allow it to limit. People may not see what you are saying now. But move on. The people will see it later. God will make their eyes to open. Wow. You, I, I remember when I was to go to seminary in those days. You know, because I had, I, 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 I was quite gifted. I had many things, you know, that I was doing at the same time. Most of my people did not give me the haplos. They felt, what, 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 what was wrong with me? I didn't have the majority haplos. But thank God today it is story. I moved ahead with that, that dream, that vision that the Lord gave me. I didn't imprison myself with the ratio 1 to 9 or ratio 1 to 10 or ratio 1 to whatever that you have found yourself now. So don't put yourself in that prison. The last prison I will mention is wall-to-wall -wall prison. The actual prison, the typical prison. In Genesis chapter 39, verse 19 and 20, you now see the Bible says his, his master was annoyed. Why? Potiphar was annoyed to him and he took him to the jail. That is a wall to wall prison. Uh -huh. That's the typical prison that we all know. And so that's just one of the prisons. And so you might not be in such prison now, but you're in any of the four prisons I've mentioned. 
you can you 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 just have to get yourself how prayerfully get yourself how you looking at the platforms that God is placing around you. There are platforms all around you, despite all of these prisons, despite these prison experiences. Some platforms helped Joseph to get out of these prisons and to get to his destination. You will get to your destination. Amen. I pray for you, you will fulfill destiny. Amen. I say you will fulfill your dreams Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, what are the platforms? What are the platforms? Let's now look at the platforms. That's where we're going. Let's quickly look at the platforms. I believe that the Holy Spirit will minister to you beyond the time we have. I believe the Holy Spirit will minister to you beyond the black and white. Now, what are the platforms? Let's consider some of the platforms that I see in this Joseph experience that I see God placed there before him. Platforms. Platform number one is what I call the Reuben platform. The Reuben platform. I like this very well. When the Lord opened my eyes to this platform, I said, wow. Genesis chapter 37, verse 20 and verse, verse 20 back to verse 22. Genesis 37, verse 20 to verse 22. Yeah. Come on now. Come on now. Let's kill him. Let's kill him. And throw his body. Let's throw his body. Into one of the dry wells. Uh -huh. We can say yeah. that a wild animal killed him. And we're going to tell our father the wild animal killed then him. And we will see what will become of his dream. We will see what will, some people are waiting to see what will become of your dream. So they will wait in vain in Jesus Amen. name. Amen. I say they are waiting in vain in Jesus name. Amen. Because there is a platform. In the name of Jesus. The first platform I want you to see is the Reuben platform. Look at verse 22. Yeah. Verse, verse 21, 22. Just throw him. Just throw him. Into this well. Verse 21 and 22. 21. Yeah. Reuben heard them. Reuben heard them. And tried to save Joseph. And Reuben tried to save Joseph. Let's not kill him. Let's not kill he him. He said. He said. Just throw him Just into this well. Don't kill him with this dream. In the wilderness. Listen to me. Listen to me, people. But don't hurt him. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Listen to me. I want you to know this. No matter how bad everybody feels about you and your dreams, there will always be a Reuben. There will always be a Reuben. There is, there is a saying in Yoruba, in my place, there is a saying that says that it should not be that bad that you will not even have someone in your support. It should not be that bad. It should not be that bad. There will be at least one person. Don't write off your dreams. Check out for a Ruben platform. Don't write off that, that expectation, that desire, that pursuit. Don't write it off. You, no matter be the prison, don't write it off. It will not be that bad. God will still make that, that at least there will be one person. Among all of them, at least there was a Ruben. And that Ruben platform worked for him. I prophesy today, your own Ruben will show up in Jesus' name. Amen. You will identify your Ruben in Jesus' name. Amen. And so, no matter how close all doors may seem, there will still be one open door somewhere that God will position for you like a Ruben door. I prophesy today, Ruben door will open for you in Jesus' name. Amen. When I was to pursue, you know, my pastoral calling, like I said for now, everyone could not understand why I would be living good talents and how I, 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 I would be living good opportunities for the calling. My people could not just understand, but thank God for at least one or two ribbon. One or two ribbon that gave me that encouragement. Let me tell you, science, how you will know Rubens. How you can identify Ruben at Ruben platform. 
how can you know them? Let me let me just share share very quickly with you because of our time. Look for your Ruben platform. Ah, Ruben is someone that can still come up with saving strategies for you when all walls around you are falling down. Someone that can still come up with a saving strategy. When everything around you seems collapsing, someone can still call your attention to a saving grace strategy. That's a Ruben. Hold on to your Ruben. Huh? How do you know your Ruben? Ruben is someone that can still be compassionate with you on your journey. Your journey of falls and failures. When everybody sees that you are falling and you are failing, and everybody leave you and disheart you. Reuben is still that one person that will still be compassionate despite your failure, despite your fall. Reuben will still say, "Ah, no, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't. Let's see how to. Let's see how to assist. Let's see how to come to." That's a Reuben. How do you identify Reuben? Reuben is also someone that will still take risk. Someone that would still take risk for you when all people have left you and all, all, all of them have lost confidence in you. Reuben will not still mind to take risk for you. Yeah. That's Reuben platform. Somebody say Reuben platform. Ruben platform. You will get it in Jesus' name. Amen. It will not be so bad that there will be no one person with you. It will not be so bad. That you will look around left, front, and back, and you will not still see at least one person. And that's a Ruben platform. Hold on to it when you say it. Hold on to Ruben platform when you say it. Don't let it go. Ruben is someone that 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 all who hate you and all who hate your dreams can still listen to. When they said they wanted to kill him, they wanted to. When Reuben came and said, don't let us kill him, they listened to him. Well, probably because he was their first one. But someone that people will still want to listen to about you, about your case. Even if everybody have written your case, you know, Reuben is that person that, if that person hears about your case, people, if the person has a voice in your case, people will still listen. That's a Reuben. That's your Ruben. Ruben platform. Somebody say Ruben platform. Ruben platform. All these are signs of Ruben. Ruben may not be a person. It may be something that is still available after all things have been destroyed. Something, at least, something will still be available. At least something will still be available. After all things might have been destroyed around you. Something will still be available. That's a platform. That little thing that is still available is still a platform. In this, in this uh, uh, pandemic period, most people lose jobs, lose contracts. That one opportunity that is still available is still a platform you can still use. Hold on to it. It can still take you into your dreams. It can take, still take you far. Somebody say Ruben platform. Ruben platform. The second platform I'm sharing with you today, despite your prison experience, is what I call exchange platform. Exchange platform. Say exchange platform. Exchange platforms. Exchange. You will see different exchange period. Genesis chapter 37, verse 27. Let's sell him to this Ishmael, Ishmaelite. Let's sell him to this Ishmaelite. Then we won't have to hurt him. Then we won't have to hurt After him. After all. After all. He's our brother. He's our brother. Our own flesh and our blood. Own, you know, I started with flesh and blood. You know, our own flesh and blood. His brothers agreed. His brothers agreed. Look at Reuben. Look at the work of Reuben. No, I told you, Reuben is someone that... Despite all your destruction fall, or despite how everybody has abandoned, Reuben is that person that will still speak and everybody will still want to listen. So his brothers agreed what well, there was the exchange. Verse 28. Verse 20. 
And when some Midianite trader came by, when some Midianite traders came by, the brothers pulled Joseph out of the well. The brothers pulled Joseph out of the well and sold him for twenty pieces of silver. Sold him for twenty to pieces the of silver. Wow! Who took him to Egypt? Who took him to Egypt? Look at the exchange going on in his life. Read verse thirty-six. Verse 36. 36. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, in Egypt, in Egypt, the Midianites had sold Joseph to Potiphar. The, look at the exchange again. His brother sold to the Midianite. The Midianites sold again to Potiphar. Look at the exchange is going on. Yes. One of the king's officers. Wow. Who was the captain of the palace? Somebody guard. say exchange platform. Exchange platform. When major exchanges are taking place in your life. Don't think, it is not every exchange that the enemy has come again. Sometimes God will change your place. Sometimes God will change your position. Look at how, the, uh, how Joseph's place was changing. However, they were even paying, you know, they were paying to change from Midianites, from the hands of Midianites. Look at the exchanges. But they were platforms. Wow. Somebody say, wow. 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 They were platforms. Exchanges. The exchanges were going on and they didn't know as they were exchanging him, they were moving him closer into his dreams. There are some of you, they may say, okay, well, I, 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 I used to have a brother, a brother in the Lord in those days that, you know, they, they, they taught in, in, in his office. They did one um, abacadabra for him and they posted him to the north, far, far place in the north. Where the place is dry, where the market is dry, the market in his company is dry in the north. They posted them there. He came to me, we prayed together. We prayed together. And I said, go there, go and resume there. Look at the exchange. Go and resume there. He went there to resume. He called me back. He said, ah, things are not. I said, just stay there. Right? Just stay there. I prayed, I sought God. And the Lord told me that from that place, he will elevate him. Mm. From that dry place, it will elevate him. And I called him, I told him that the Lord said so, 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 so. Get ready. Wow. It was around eight months. After eight months. It was about eight months. They just called him. Someone just, just called him that they needed him. And that place was the place of his promotion. Don't worry. You see, the exchange is going on in your life now. They may be changing your place, changing your position, changing your, 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 your nomenclatures in the office. You know, things may be changing around you. Look at them as platforms. Amen. May the Lord cause and command those exchanges. May the Lord command them to become your platform in Jesus' name. Amen. So when major changes of places, position, designation are going on in your life, in your office, in your business, most of us, we see them as attack. Stop seeing them as attack. Naturally, such exchange, you know, on, Moses, on, on, on Joseph, sorry, such exchange of being sold out to Joseph, it was her ah, enemy at work again, right? But to God and to posterity, they were platforms. Those exchanges were platforms that moved him from one place to another till he got. If he were to be in his father's house, tell me how he would have gotten to Potiphar's house. Tell me how he would have gotten to become a prime minister. That's right. But those exchanges were the platforms. Wow. Don't worry. Wherever they want to change your position to, wherever they want to change your, your place to, don't worry. I've seen people that they, 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 they change them they, they, from their office. They threw them to, they thought they were doing them bad. However, they thought it for bad, but God made it for good. It should be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. I say it will be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Those exchanges taking, taking, taking place in your life. God will turn them around to your platform in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, some few years ago when God was changing my place of, my place of service too. You know, just about, it should be about eight years now. When God was changing my place of service, I mean, I thought... I, I was thinking, ah, at least God, leave me there. Half bread is better than none. Because I was apparently going into, you know, taking risk of not knowing where I was going. Half bread was better than none. 
But God changed my place. He changed my. It was as if I was going from 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 grace to grass, but I didn't know that it was God was using it to create platform for my destiny. I I speak to you today. Every exchange is going on in your life, in your business, in your career, in your office. They will turn around as your platform of elevation in Jesus' name. Amen. The third platform is God. I call God's presence. God's presence. It was a platform. It was a serious, massive platform for Joseph. God's presence. Genesis chapter 39, verse 2. Genesis 39. Verse 2. The Lord was with Joseph. Wow. The Lord was with Joseph. And made him successful. And the Lord made him to be he successful. in the house of his Egyptian master. Wow. Wow. I wonder how a servant, a slave, can be said to be successful if not for God's presence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if not for God's presence. A slave. A servant and the Bible records that he became successful no matter how slavery that they have made you to become no matter how enslaved that you have become no matter how re restricted you have no matter how you, you seems to be a servant I prophesy today success will come your way in Jesus name Amen. but you are trapped out by God's presence in the name of Jesus it takes God's presence to become successful as a servant to become successful as a slave it takes god's presence the bible says and god was with him listen to me the 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 most greatest platform you can ever need is god's presence i tell you you can succeed anywhere in life as long as you carry god's presence anywhere in life even in the dungeon you can succeed as long as you carry God's presence. And so God's presence can never be overemphasized as a leverage and a platform for your dreams and your visions to succeed. God's presence can never be overemphasized. If you lack God's presence, you are on your own and you are bound to suffer. You are bound to struggle. You are bound to achieve your dreams by force. By force. And so it was the platform of God's presence that made Potiphar to recognize his abilities. Thank God for God's presence. You need that, that platform. If you stand on God's platform, on God's presence, if, it, if you make it your platform, wow, your tomorrow will be very great. I see a great tomorrow before you. Amen. I see a great tomorrow before you. Amen. And so it was that platform of God's presence that, you know, <laughs> Joseph was using to just get from one place to another. One of the major things that attracted God's presence to Joseph was that Joseph resoluted not to sin against God. Look at Genesis chapter 39, verse 9. Genesis 39, verse 9. Look at Genesis 39, verse 9. I have as much authority in this house as he has. I have as much authority in this house as he has. And he has not kept back anything from me My except you. My master has not kept back anything from me except you, his wife. Oh. How then could I do such an immoral thing? How then would I do such a moral thing? And sin against God. And sin against God. How then? I like this translation to my this translation. Says, How then could I do such an immoral thing and sin against God? You can see. Because Joseph resoluted not to sin against God. That was why he carried God's presence. That was why he, he attracted God's presence and it became a, a platform for him. God's presence is a platform you need. The number four platform. We have just about a few more minutes. The number four platform is what I call temptation platform. Hmm. Temptation platform. Genesis chapter 39, verse 7. Verse 7. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. After these things. After these things. That his master's wife. That his master's wife, yes. 
cast her eyes upon Joseph mm. and said and said to him and said to him lie with me lie with me temptation platform somebody say wow how can temptation be a platform yes it was a platform for Joseph platform that took him to prison <laughs> Platform that took him to prison, from prison to palace. Yeah, it was a platform, temptation platform. Listen to me, I want to tell you some things here. It is not all temptations that are pitfalls. It is not, let me say it again. It is not all temptations that are pitfalls. Some temptations are platforms and not pitfalls. You see, how temptation will become a pitfall for you, I will explain. But you can actually see temptation becoming a platform for you. How? Some temptations are ladders. Some temptations are ladders to destination and not leaders into destruction. It is not all temptation that lead into destruction. God will bring and allow some temptations to come because he wants to use them as ladder. Once you can pass that test, once you can pass the test, the Bible says that when the crowd got that gathered together, about 5,000 of them, Jesus now asked Peter, what are we going to feed these 5,000 with? The Bible says he used this one to test Peter. He himself knew what to do. There are some things that comes your way that are like temptations. God knows why he wants to use it as a ladder and not as a leader to lead you, to lead you into destruction. No, some temptations are ladders to lead you to your destination. Why some can lead you into destruction? Matthew chapter 4. In Matthew chapter 4 verse 1. Matthew 4 1. You will see that. Matthew 4 1. Matthew 4 1. What does Matthew 4 1 say? Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit. Into the wilderness to be tempted. Into of the, devil. the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. So it is not all temptations that are leading you to destruction. Some temptations are ladders to your destination. Right? The danger of falling is when you allow temptation to lead you and not the Holy Spirit. But, you know, the Holy Spirit led Jesus. But some of us, or most of the time, we allow temptation to lead us. But if you can have God's presence and you have the Holy Spirit with you, the Holy Spirit, even when temptation comes, it will turn the temptation into ladder for you into platforms for you and you will pass the test <laughs> you will pass the temptation and you go to the next stage so some of us don't know that we can't you can't get promoted to the next day without passing you have to pass test you have to pass temptations then you get promotion so temptation it, 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 it can be a ladder that will take you into your destination Temptation will become a ladder and a platform only to those who are led by the Holy Spirit. Those that carry God's presence. But if you lack God's presence, when temptation comes, it will take over you and it will lead you into sin and it will lead you into fall. And that's what temptation can do. It can do, it can, temptation can jumpstart to work. It can become a ladder to some people. I've seen one of my people that he didn't know that they were testing him in the office. You know, they were testing him in the office. They were using some 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 huge amounts. You know, tempting tempting amounts to test him. You know, some vendors will come behind test him. You know, and he didn't know that his bosses. We are, we are, you know, we are, we are, we are, we are watching. But he, thank God he passed the test. And God used that temptation to move him to the next level. I prophesy today, 
all of those temptations that have come your way, they will turn to your ladder in Jesus' name. Amen. I said they will turn to your platform in Jesus' name. Amen. If Joseph was not tempted, there is no way he will meet the chief, the chief butler who recommended him. Thank God for temptation sometimes. If he, were not, if he was not test, tempted by the wife of his boss, how will he get into prison where he will meet the chief uh, butler who, who later recommended him? And that takes me to point number five. The fifth platform is what I call responsibility platform. Somebody say responsibility platform. Responsibility platform. Genesis chapter 39. You know, Genesis chapter 39. Verse 21 to 23. Very quickly. Genesis 39. Verse 21 to verse 23. But the Lord was with Joseph. The Lord was with Joseph. And blessed him. He blessed him. So that the jailer was pleased with him. The jailer was pleased with him. He put Joseph in charge of all the other prisoners. Wow, can you imagine? And made him responsible for everything Responsibility. that was done in the prison. He made him responsible to everything that was done in the prison. He put him in charge. The jailer did not have to look for anything. Wow. For which Joseph was responsible mm. because the Lord was with Joseph and made him succeed in everything wow. he did. Even in prison, Joseph was saddled with dominating responsibility. Responsibility that made him to dominate over the rest of the prisoners. Responsibility. Somebody say responsibility. Responsibility. You remember that he had been getting occupied with a lot of responsibility while he was a teenager. The Bible says when he was 17 years old, his father sent him to check his brothers on the field. Okay. 17 years old. At 17 years old. Some of us, we harbor our children. We pamper them. You don't want to give them responsibility. The house help must do everything. Mm. I remember some years ago, some maybe about five, six years ago, our children told, told me and my wife, they said, don't even let's get uh, house help again. I hope you remember. Don't let's get house help again. And so we started to mm. teach them how to mop, how to clean, how to get to the kitchen. And thank God today, uh, at 17, my 17 year old daughter, I thank God, they can do exceedingly and uh, exceedingly well. Yeah. <laughs> COVID 19, baking cake, <laughs> where we can't go to uh, cakes and creams, yeah. bake cake for the family, bake yeah. cake for the, for the, for the birthdays. Mm. At 17, because responsibility have been given to them when they were younger. Mm. Don't run for responsibility. Even in church, people run for responsibility. Look at, from 17 years, Joseph had been taking responsibility. So when he got into prison, it was not a big deal to take responsibility anymore. It was not a big, he wasn't seeing anything. We learned, my mother taught us when we were young, she will push you to that dirty, dirty homework, home church. She will push you into, she will tell you, when you finish, you wash your hands. Some people, you will see some people, and, and some parents will not tell, how's it help? Eh, eh, she ma. Shema, go and help. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Let me tell you something. Responsibility is what one of the major things that opportunity always hide, hide behind. That's right. So most of us, we will miss precious opportunities in life. Why? Because you run for responsibility. Even in church, people run for responsibility. Some people don't want to go to the toilet and wash uh, toilet. Right? Run for responsibility. Anyone who run for responsibility is shooting his destiny on the leg. I have learned in experience how opportunities severally hide behind responsibilities. Huh? God most of the time hide great opportunities mm -hmm. and great privileges behind responsibilities. Stop running for responsibilities. Even in prison, they were giving Joseph responsibility. Who knew that God was using those as platforms to prepare? His father used to give him responsibility at 17 years. 
In, in prison, they gave him responsibility. He was in charge. Who knew that the dream of his destiny or destination to become prime minister was going to be a greater responsibility? Let me tell you something. When you are not faithful in little things, God will take long to commit big things to your hands. Mm -hmm. Because Joseph was faithful with little things, little responsibilities. Look at, and even in prison, responsibility again. Then he now got the responsibility of a whole nation. Wow. Somebody say responsibility platform. Responsibility, responsibility platform. Number six platform is dream interpretation platform. Dream interpretation. Listen, let me tell you something. The fact remains that even Joseph's dreams were not platforms for him to get to his destination. Even his own dreams. They were not platforms. The platforms for him to get to destination were the dream of other people he was interpreting. <laughs> the dream of other people he was helping them to interpret. And let me tell you there, it was in his interpreting other people's dream that God needed the platform. Dream interpretation platform. You may not be dreaming dreams. You may not be sleeping to dream. But other people's dreams, other people's vision, help them to see it come alive. You will be helping your own, your own visions too. Hmm? It is in the interpretation of other people's dream that you will get to your own destination and your dream island. The more you help other people to interpret their dreams, you will get to your own dream highland. Those things you do to solve people's problems. Huh? Remember, all of those things you do to solve people's problems, to make people's dreams come alive, they are the things that will interpret your own dreams. They are the things that will make them one day remember you. Why? Because you have interpreted their dreams. They will now remember you that ah, you too can do this. It was the dream that, you know, Joseph helped other people. It wasn't even his dream that got him to his destination. Dreams of other people that he was interpreting. Someone come and shares a dream or a vision with I want to start this business. You spoil it. You use mouth to spoil it. Say, eh? Don't go into it. Oh. You use mouth to spoil it. Why? Because you too, you have the mind of going to invest into that business. Eh? You now spoil it. You don't help that person to, to have his dream interpreted. Look at all of these things we do. Eh? Me, I'll just, I'll just deliver a dream. My PA, turn it around. He interprets it and bring it out in the designs we see. He's, he, he, gradually, he's getting to his own destination. The more you interpret other people's dreams for them, other people's ideas, you help them to fine tune it, to interpret it, you are getting gradually, there are platforms to you getting into your own destination. Yeah. There are things that will make people to also recommend you and know you later. Amen. Amen. Dream interpretation was a platform, a great platform that some of us need to start to do. Help other people to get their feet. Help other people to locate, to locate their, 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 their destinies. Help other people to interpret. Ah, ah, you don't know. You have this, like, like we were saying yesterday, and Mr. Demi was, was saying that, you know, parents helping the children, you know, helping the children to, to, to in, 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 help them to, to find, discover themselves. Right? Help them to discover. He said one of his daughter, you know, uh, he, he sees, ah, you will be, you, uh, you, there, there's a lawyer in you. And that one thing, well, maybe you know, there's no lawyer, in me, well, however, you know. But in, what he was trying to say is, help someone to get on his dreams, then you will be getting fulfilled. That is it. And lastly, 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 the last platform is recommendation platform. You need this. Wow. Even if you carry God's presence, if you are not recommended, you may die with your dreams. Recommendation. Genesis chapter 40, verse 14. Then Genesis chapter 41, verse 9 to 14. Genesis chapter 40, verse 14. But think on me. Think on me. 
when it shall be well with thee. Remember me, oh, when it shall be well with thee. And show kindness, I pray thee. And show kindness, I pray thee. Unto me. Unto me. And make mention of me. Thank you. Make mention of me. Recommend me. Genesis 41, verse 9 to 14, as we're closing. Then the wine steward said the wine the steward king, said to him i must confess today mm. that i have done wrong king i have done wrong you were angry with me mm. chief baker yeah and me yeah angry with the chief baker and me and you put us in prison you put us in, in prison. the house of the captain of the guard in the house of the captain of the guard verse 11. Mm. one night one night each of us had a dream we had a dream and the dream had different meaning yeah a young hebrew was there with us mm. a slave of the captain of the guard recommendation we told him our dreams mm -hmm. and he interpreted them for us mm -hmm. things turned out things turned out just as he said just as he said just restored mm. you restored me to my position yeah but you execute mm. the baker yeah wow look at the recommendation somebody say recommendation 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 platform took Joseph to the final bus stop. Wow. May I pray for someone today. That single recommendation that will take you to your destination. The Lord will cause the person that has forgotten you for years to release that recommendation in Jesus' name. Amen. One recommendation can change your destiny. One single recognition can change your story finally. Mm -hmm. I have seen it. I know how it works. I know how people need it. Nobody gets far. Nobody gets high without recommendation. Amen. Amen. Recommendation make people. Recommendation is a password and is a power tool for success. It's a password for success. Power tool for success. Recommendation. You need it. May I decree to your life that one recommendation that will change your story for life. May the Lord release it in Jesus' name. Amen. Recommendation moved Joseph from major prisons in life into his dreams. Oh God, I pray for somebody watching me now. That recommendation that will move you into your dreams and visions. Let it be released in the name of Jesus. Amen. You need that platform. I see you getting into your dreams. Amen. I see you mounting on these platforms. Amen. Today I've shared with you from the case study of Joseph. Seven platforms. I've shared with you five prisons that he found himself. And I've shared with you seven platforms. Keep them. All tied to these things. Meditate on them. They are God's word sent to you. Meditate on them. Go back to this, to this live broadcast. Meditate on them. Run with them. The Bible says write the vision. Make it plain. I have written the vision in your heart. I have made it plain to you. It is coded. But God has decoded it. I have made it plain to you even in your prison. There are platforms there. Go back. Meditate on these seven platforms. Begin to pray them. Begin to soak yourself into prayer with them. And you will see the wonders of your dream come true in Jesus' name. Amen. I prophesy you will get to your dream city. Amen. You will get to your dream island. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I see you getting into your dreams. Amen. I see you getting fulfilled. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Platforms are available on your way in Jesus' name. Amen. In that platform, in that prison, receive your platforms in Jesus' name. Amen. Lift up your hands and say, Thank you, Father. Thank Just you, lift up your hands and begin to bless Lord, God. Father, begin to give Him praise Ready for opening our eyes to platforms, eating platforms. Come on, give Him praise for opening your eyes to this platform, for connecting you to this message. Give Him praise, give Him praise, give Him praise. Him praise. Platforms are available. They are just there, even in the prison. Your platforms are there. Those prisons will crumble. In the name 
name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Someone say, Father, I need your presence. Let me carry your presence from now to everywhere into my destination. Go ahead and talk to God. Father, I need your presence. Let me begin to carry your presence from now. That I may carry your presence like Joseph. I will carry your presence like Joseph. Show up, oh God. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Someone say, Father, the platforms for my lifting that have not been mentioned in this series. Open me to them, Lord. Lift up your voice and pray. Platform that we have not even mentioned. Lord, place them before me. Open my heart. Touch my eyes, oh Lord. In the name of, let me see different platforms, wonderful platforms. In the name of Jesus. 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 Oh, thank you, precious Redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray. I pray for you, you will get to your destination. You will fulfill your dreams. You will fulfill your visions. In the name of Jesus. From those prisons you have been confined everyone will lift you from that in the name of jesus Amen. every exchange that needs to take place in your life they will start to take place now Amen. every dream you interpret for people they will move you closer to your destination Amen. I prophesy today, you will not fall into temptation. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Responsibility that comes your way will launch you how? It will call of the grace you carry in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, you will carry God's presence. Amen. You will not lack God's presence. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not lack God's presence. Amen. I prophesy today, your Reuben will show up. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Maybe you have not given your life to Jesus, I want to give you this precious opportunity to give your life to Jesus. You see, you cannot experience the Spirit of God leading you through temptation. The Bible says the Holy Spirit led Jesus through temptation. You cannot experience such. Temptation will become what pitfalls for you rather than becoming platforms mm -hmm. if you don't have the Spirit of God. And you, don't, you cannot have the Spirit of God if you have not accepted Jesus. And so today, wherever you are, say, Lord Jesus, I accept you into my life. I believe you are my Savior. I know you have come to save me. Save my soul. Heal my injuries. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Help me to make salvation. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. It is done. You are saved. Amen. And now I want you to know that you need the Spirit of God. You need to begin to pray for the infilling of the Spirit of God. That the Spirit of God will overwhelm you so that it will help you out. It will create the platforms and open your eyes of understanding. You know, last week, upper week, I was talking about insight and foresight. You know, you need it. And that was what Zach Zacchaeus, last week, some of the platforms you mentioned last week. You know, you need it. Next week, we will go into another you know, another example, we shall be looking at another, pl another platform so that you can be robust. So that after this COVID, you will move out strong. You will move out loaded and we begin to fulfill your destiny. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you for joining us today. I want to appreciate you. Thank you for worshiping with us online. I celebrate you. Ola de Johemisi is my name. I'm the pastor, the senior pastor of the Lord's Portion Restaurant Church. I uh, like that well, you want to send your offering or your seed or your tithe. You can send it to Zenith Bank. The Lord's Portion Restorers Ministry, Zenith Bank. The bank account is 10130808054. I call it again. 10130808054. Or you want to use this code, you can use this code, this US, USSD code. You can use it, star 402, star 966-08385, star the amount, then ash. 
then it will request that you should pick your bank. But unfortunately, it's as if Zenit, uh, it's as if uh, GTB is not, you know, is not uh, part of that um, usage. So, but you can use any of this code. If you cannot, if your bank cannot use that code, then you can pay into the account number itself, 10130808. I look forward to you connecting with us again next week Sunday shall be another time Saturday we shall be having discovery discovery series ends next week Saturday and by Sunday we'll come to worship again we shall be looking at another dominate our dominating platform well I want to appreciate you again for joining us always remember that you are the Lord's portion and well, with me today is uh, my wife. Yes. Hello, everyone. My name is uh, Asuzedoe Oladejo, and we're so blessed for the wonderful time that we've had together once again today in God's presence. Yeah. I want to believe that you've been blessed by today's worship experience. Yeah. The Bible says in Genesis 39, verse 2, that we have read, and that the Lord was with Joseph, yeah. and He made him to be pro to be successful. That's right. This week, as you go out, yeah. the presence of God shall be upon your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And He will make you to be successful. Amen. In all that you will lay your hands to do this week. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Until we see you once again next week. Stay safe and God Stay bless you. And you are, always remember that you are the, the Lord's, Lord's portion. portion.